Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna be doing a three strand twist. Before we get into it, these are the products that I'm gonna be using for the video. Using a brush, spray bottle, and some styling cream, and another brush. And I'm also using some hair ties. Let's get into this guys. This is what my hair is looking like. I mentioned this before, a lot of people saying that my hair is not a 4A. And to tell you the truth, I really am not like 100% sure. I know that I'm like ranging between a 3C and a 4A. This is my hair like fresh out of a shower. So like the texture is different. But hey, let's get straight into it. You guys can call it what you want. You guys can even comment down what you think my hair type is. I know I'm leaning more towards a 3C. But first off, we're starting off with a separation. If you're gonna do four sections, make sure that you separate four sections of hair. That's what I did. It was just easier for me to do it that way. Especially if you're just doing this as a method to protect your hair. And if you're doing it overnight or if you're doing a mask on your hair, then I would recommend doing four sections. But if you're doing this as an actual hairstyle, I would do, you know, starting at six to all the way to as many as you possibly can do on your head. But like I said, I'm only doing four in this video just because I was gonna do a twist out and you guys will see that later on in the video. And it's pretty obvious, you're gonna make all of your sections the same size. Now after sectioning out half of my head, I sectioned that out into two halves as well. pulled one aside and then I started wetting my hair. And then I made sure that I combed through all of my hair and I made sure I brushed out any knots that I had in my hair so that my hair is all the way detangled. And then I came back and then brushed the roots of my hair so that everything lays pretty flat. And this is optional, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I put a hair tie at the bottom of my hair, just so that that section stays there while I'm doing the three strand twist. Since this is my first time doing it, now what I'm doing is I'm just combing through my hair to make sure that it is still detangled after putting on the hair tie. And then I work in all the product that I'm using, which is the styling cream. And now comes to the tough part if this is your first time. Get three sections, which this part really isn't that tough, but after this, trying to actually start the three strand twist for the first time is pretty tough. So try not to laugh at me while I'm doing this whole process because I was a bit tricked at first. So the best way for me to explain this is to grab the strand on the far left or the far right, but you just kind of make sure to keep doing the same side every time. You move the left or right, we'll use the left for this instance. So you grab the left strand and move it over both of the two other strands. And now that you got that strand over the two strands, you just keep repeating that process. It's literally a repeat process. As long as you're always moving the left side all the way to the right or the right all the way to the left, you should be straight. So as you can notice, I'm always moving the one that's far to the right on the screen to the left. And it does get pretty messy. This is my first time ever doing it, but later on I got really fast at it. It was really easy to learn after I did one of the three strand twists. And I'm telling you, I got to the point to where I was able to do the last three strand twist in under probably a minute. Now, if you do have experience with doing two strand twists or even braiding, 
This does come in handy, especially braiding, just because you're working with three strands. It's almost the same way as braiding, but if you've ever braided before, it kind of confuses your fingers because you want to start braiding, but you have to constantly be moving that left strand all the way to the right every time. Now after I got all the way down to the tip, I got some more product and put the product throughout all of the hair. And you wanna keep twisting in the same direction this whole time so that it doesn't unravel. And then this is what it looks like when it's complete. Mine is really messy, but let me tell you, this is the first time I ever did it. And I would say that the other three look a whole lot better. And if I were to do this again, it would look completely better. But I can say for the first time, I did a decent job. I was super proud of myself. But I can say for the first time I did a really decent job. This is what everything looks like with all of the three strand twists in. But like I said, I feel like I did a really good job for the first time ever doing this. You can comment down below what you guys think if you've ever done this, if you've ever done a two strand twist or braided, comment down below what you've done. But if this is your first time ever even hearing about a three strand twist, comment that down below as well. And what do you think about it? I know it looks weird, it looks different, but I wanna hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, let's get into the part to where I actually do the twist out. All right, y'all, so my hair dried up pretty well, but like you guys see, I'm actually going to be blow drying my hair. It's been about 30 minutes since I put the product and the three strand twist into my hair, and they are roughly done. But now I'm gonna dry them completely, and then I'm gonna do a twist out, and then my hair should look really good afterwards. So I just thought of this right now. I'm actually going to pull the hair ties out of my hair while they're in the three strand twist. And then I'll blow dry my hair just so that I don't have to take them out after my hair is blow dried because I feel like it's gonna ruin the curls if my hair is dry and I pull them out. So I think it's just smart to have my hair be damp while I'm doing this process. So it kind of looks like it unraveled a bit, but it's just that my roots kind of separated because they're not being held as tight. All right, so now I'm gonna start blow drying. Believe it or not, the more my hair gets dry, the more I can feel the three separate strands in these twists, especially at the roots. But I'm just gonna blow dry these a little bit longer and then after that, I'm gonna do some editing and then it should give me some time to allow this to dry a little longer because I want it to be completely dry before I actually undo them. Okay guys, one thing I can tell you after the full length of probably two to probably three hours of waiting to allow this to dry, it is a little damp, but the roots are completely dry, even though the roots are like kind of straight because of the big sections. But I am gonna go ahead and untwist these and see what we get out of it. But yeah, even if you wanted to, if you wanted to do smaller sections, you can. You can do any size sections you want. I feel like if you make bigger sections, it's gonna make bigger curls. And if you do smaller sections, it'll make smaller curls. And also it is depending on how tight you actually twist them. And also if you're using gel or cream or whatever is gonna hold it. I feel like there's a lot that goes into it. I think the coolest thing is being able to see how much it shrinks. And I think that's an indication of when it's good to take it out of the twists. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Now I didn't really see how to take it out of the twists. So I'm just gonna kind of reverse the whole process. But I want you guys to get a close up on how this looks. 
because if you look, you can see the three strands and you can see the difference of how it looks compared to a two strand twist. So I think they look really cool. It's really cool being able to do all three, a finger coil, which is just one section and twisting that. And then I did two strand twist and now doing a three strand twist. It's cool to see. I wonder if there's a four strand twist. It'd be really cool to see, but let's go ahead and kind of just unravel this. Now I'm trying to be really careful because I know one thing is when you're unraveling braids or twists, it's, it's really important, I feel like, to be as careful as possible. I know when you do a braid out, your hair will tend to get frizzy if you do it really quick. So I'm trying to just make sure that I can actually get the sections out the way that they are and then separate the sections from there. So far, so good. This does give my curls a different look, combines them and they just look a little different. So yeah, just from looking at it, I'm positive you can do a four strand twist. That three strand twist holds a little better than a two strand twist and it does have more of a tighter look because I know like a two strand twist kind of unravels a little easier. That's one of the things that I noticed between a two strand twist and a three strand twist. Another thing is that you can do this with a deep condition or if you're doing a deep treatment or a mask, you can do two strand twist, three strand twist or just finger coils and then you could do a twist out and then rinse it. See if I'm doing this correctly, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some things that I'm probably doing wrong, but I'm just trying to separate everything and keep that curly look without getting frizzy. And I also wanna just make sure that it doesn't look sectioned out still. You know one thing that I feel like a lot of people do that I did different on trying to actually get a good looking twist out? Now before I actually mention that, you can see that the curls actually took the form of the actual twists. I'm just gonna shake my head and hope for the best. This is what I always do. So like I was gonna mention, a lot of people will part their hair, like say they'll part it right here, part it down the side and then do a twist out or do a style that they're gonna do a twist out or a braid out on just so that that part is there. Now, if I would have done the twist on the middle, not gonna lie, it probably would have turned out a whole lot better. That's as far as what I would want it to look like because I don't, I personally don't like parting my hair down the middle. But overall, it's not that bad of a job, I think. I think the biggest thing was actually being able to do the three strand twists because I was super unsure if I was even gonna be able to do it on myself. So I'm proud of myself for that. And there's like this just party going on right here. But you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down some pointers for me if you have any. And also if you think I did a decent job as far as any of the parts that I did, because like I've been saying, we're learning together. I'm learning with you guys. The biggest thing is I'm trying to learn it so that I can actually show this stuff to you guys. I feel like it's also better to learn with someone who's actually learning along with you. Anyway, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.